Okay, let's take a look at 2.1.1. Calculate the sum of the series. So what information do we have? The first term of an arithmetic series is 7. So we are given that a is equals to 7. The common difference of this series is 5. So the difference, the common difference is equals to 5. And the series contains 20 terms. So we know that n is equals to 20. What are we looking for? We are looking for the sum. So we know fully well that the sum of some n terms is equals to n over 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by the difference, right? So we're looking for the sum of the 20 terms. So s20 is equals to 20 over 2 multiplied by 2a. We know fully well that a is equals to 7 plus n minus 1. So 20 minus 1. The common difference is 5. So let me go ahead and put that in my calculator. So when I have 10 multiplied by 14 plus 19 multiplied by 5, uh, this is equals to 1090. So the sum of the 20 terms is 1090. So this is 2.1.1. Let's take a look at 2.1.2. Two. So 2.1.2, the original arithmetic series is extended to 75 terms. We now have 75 terms. Using sigma notation, write down an equation for the sum of the terms added to the original series. We need to be very perspicacious here. Uh, in 2.1.1, we determine that the sum of the first 20 terms is 1,000 and 90 and then the sum of the 70 of 75 terms is 14,400 let's pay attention to what we're looking for here so that we can make sure we don't miss anything so listen to this use sigma notation and write down an equation for the sum of the terms added to the original series the sum of the terms added to the original so the sum added we can find that by saying s75 minus s20 right so 14400 because you're looking for the sum of the terms that are added initially we had 1090 as our sum and after we add some terms we have 14400 so 14400 minus 1090 this is equals to 13310 this is the sum of the terms added right but we're not just looking for the sum of the terms added we have to represent it using sigma notation so from s20 to s75 we we start with n being equals to 21 right up until n is equals to 75 so we know what number to start with at the bottom of our sigma and what number to put up there and we actually know the sum right we know the sum of those terms that are added. Let's just call it uh, SK. We know fully well that the sum is 13,310. So we have the number at the bottom. We have the number at the top. We have the, we have the sum itself, right? And then the equation uh, TN is equals to. So if we use the TN for the original arithmetic sequence, A, we know fully well it is 7, right? And then plus... Uh, well depending on what we're gonna use let's say k plus n minus one so let's say k minus one multiply by the common difference which is five so when we represent it uh, when we represent these as a sigma notation we're gonna have k is equals to 21 because that's where we start in right and then we end up when k is equals to 75 and the formula that we have let me use a bra there and not a cat it's seven plus k minus one everything multiplied by five and we know that this sum should be thirteen thousand three hundred and ten there we go that is only two point two point two point one point two let's take a look at two point two and two point two point one the sequence of the first differences of a quadratic pattern is one three Five. That is the sequence of the first differences of a quadratic. So that is arithmetic, right? And then 2.1.1, if T99 of this quadratic pattern is, so we have T99 
is 9632. This is T99, right? Uh, the question says calculate the value of T98. <laughs> so we're looking for T98. So let me put it here and say that we are looking for the value here of which it is T98. We're looking for T98. Okay, so the difference between uh, T99 and T88, we should be able to find it using this arithmetic right because we know that this arithmetic we find it from finding the differences of the quadratic so we can use that arithmetic to find uh, the number which we need to subtract here in order to find t98 because from t98 to t99 we add a number there from uh, the a number here right uh, from the quadratic from the arithmetic so that we can get the following term of the quadratic so we just need to identify that number but how do we identify that number let me show you something so we have something like this so t1 of the arithmetic is between t1 and t2 of the quadratic and t3 is between uh, and t2 is between t3 and t2 and t3 is between t4 and t3 so we are looking for t98 so t98 should be the 98th uh, the difference between t98 and t99 of the quadratic should be t98 of the arithmetic it should be t98 of the arithmetic right so we need to find t98 of the arithmetic and subtract it from t99 in order for us to find t98 of the quadratic so t1 is 3 so a is equal to 1 uh, the difference 3 minus 1 it's easy to see that it is 2 so we have well t98 rather being equals to a1 plus n minus 1 so we're looking for the 98th term so we have 98 minus 1 multiplied by the difference which is 2 okay so let me just put that in my calculator so 1 plus 98 minus 1 everything multiplied by 2 so this is 195. So the term here that we have is 195. This is 195. So T98, T98 is going to be 9632. 9632 minus 195 minus uh, 195. This is 9 minus 195. <laughs> this is equals to nine four three seven so there we go this is t98 this is t98 okay there's another way to find t98 right but another way that you can use to find t98 it involves finding tn which is what we are supposed to do in the last question 2.2.2 so i don't know what is going to actually happen with that case because in order for you to find T98, you can do that. But in doing that, you can find Tn first. But 2.2.2 says find Tn. So what do you do in that case? Because you've already found Tn in the question that came before. But anyway, stories, right? Uh, let's do 2.2.2. We're supposed to find a Tn of uh, the quadratic. We know fully well that uh, Tn of the quadratic is An squared plus Bn plus C. Uh, we need a we need b and we need c how can we do that so let's go back to our pattern right of the quadratic we have t1 t2 t3 and t4 the difference between t2 and t1 is 1 the difference between t3 and t2 is 3 the difference between t4 and t3 is 5 we are getting that because we are given that quadratic or oh, that arithmetic pattern right and then the difference between three and one is two obviously the difference between five and three is two so already we can see that two a is equal to the second common difference all the time which is two so a is equal to one in this case and then three a plus b is equal to one right so we have a and then three a plus b so we have three plus b being equal to one so b is equal to minus 2 so we have b so now we need to find c right we can say a plus b plus c is equal to t1 but the problem is that we don't have t1 but we have t90 
99 because it is given to us. So we can say that T99 is equals to A, A is 1, and then N is 99, so 99 squared minus 2 because B is minus 2, and then N is 99, and then plus C. Uh, but we do have T99. T99 is 9,632. So let's replace that with 9,632. So C is equal to 9,300 or oh, 9,600. 9,632 minus 99 squared plus 2 multiplied by 99. Okay, so let me put that in my calculator and find C. So 9632 minus 99 squared plus 2 multiplied by 99. Uh, this is 29. So C is equal to 29. So we have Tn being equal to n squared minus 2n plus 29. So this is Tn. Obviously, we can test and see if this this is correct, right? We can substitute 88, uh, 98 and substitute 99 and see if we're going to find... Uh, when we substitute 99, we shall find this term. And then when we substitute 98, we shall find the term that we found as an answer to the previous question. So let's substitute 99. So 99 squared minus 2 multiplied by 99 plus 27 gives us... 9,630. Yeah, that is because I said 27 instead of 29. Yeah, so let me put 29 in my calculator. 9,632. So T9 is correct. I'm quite confident that Tn as a whole is also correct. There we go.